from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making a black bean and potato seitan roast. So let's get started. For this recipe you want to set your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit and get yourself a large mixing bowl. To this bowl I'm adding some chopped up toast. So I've just got three slices of whole wheat bread that I toasted up and cut into cubes just under thumb size for that. And I'm also adding in two large boiled and peeled potatoes that I've let cool and then just cut into little pieces also. And I'm also adding in 400 grams of black beans. So you can cook your own and drain them off or just use tinned. So next up, I'm just going to mash all this together. So you can either use a potato masher for this or I actually like to get in there with my hands and just really work this and mix it together. Okay, so after you've mashed this together for a good minute or two and it's all nicely mixed together, it's time to add some extra ingredients. So I'm adding in one fourth or quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes. So this is totally optional, but it does give it a really nice flavor. And I use, like to use this because it does have added B12 in there. So if you are buying nutritional yeast, make sure that it has B12 as one of the ingredients. I'm also adding in one fourth of a cup of chopped up scallions, two tablespoons of mixed Italian herbs. So you can use any herbs that you like, whether it's parsley or basil, oregano, sage, totally up to you. I just buy a pre-made Italian mix, so it makes it nice and easy to use. Okay, so next up I'm adding one teaspoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of granulated onion. To this I'm also adding one eighth of a teaspoon of ground fresh black pepper. And then again, just give this a quick mix through either with your masher or with your hands. Mm, those herbs and spices are smelling so delicious. Really looking forward to eating this. Next up, I'm adding two cups of vegetable stock. This is salted, so if you're using just a plain stock, you might want to add about half to one teaspoon of some coarse Celtic sea salt. Also going in is one tablespoon of tamari. You could also use soy sauce or brags. And one cup of gluten flour. So gluten flour will give this a nice meaty texture. It's totally different to other flours. It's very high in protein, so it reacts very differently when it's mixed with water. Makes it nice and stretchy and gives it a meat-like consistency. So again, just using your hands, start to work this mixture through. Okay, so for this mixture, I've actually added an extra cup of gluten flour just to make it a little bit more meaty like. It was quite runny. So you can always adjust it. It's a little bit more liquid or add some more gluten flour depending on the consistency and how much liquid your beans have or how moist your potatoes are. You can always adjust to get the right consistency. And then just work that through. Okay, so that's holding together really nicely. It's got a nice stringy sort of consistency and this is ready to go into a baking dish. Okay, so get yourself a baking dish. I'm just using a bread pan today that's been lined with some nonstick parchment paper. And just to shape that nonstick parchment paper nicely into this baking dish, a little trick for this is just to wet it under some water and then you can scrunch it up and shape it really, really easily. So now it's time to transfer this mixture into here. Just make sure you press it down just so there's no gaps in between, no air pockets. So as you can see, this has filled the bread pan nicely. This is a one and a half quart size or about 1.4 litres that it holds. So fits perfectly, fills it to the top. 
So now I'm just going to cover this with some tin foil. It doesn't matter which side you have facing up or down, it's just part of the manufacturing process. So it works the same either way. Once it's tightly wrapped, it's ready to go in the oven for about half an hour. This has now been in the oven for half an hour and I'm just going to remove the foil from the top. And then this will go back in again. You can feel it's quite soft still. So I'm going to put this back in the oven for another 20 minutes to 30 minutes and then check on it again. So now that this has been in the oven for 60 minutes, which is half an hour with the foil on and half an hour off, I'm just going to lift this out and onto another piece of parchment paper. So I'll just loosen that off. Take that out. And when you remove this first piece of parchment paper, you'll see that it's still quite soft in the center, but you don't want the outside all dry and the center all soft and soggy. So the best thing to do is just to wrap the original piece of parchment paper around, leave that on there, get a new piece of parchment paper and just enclose this. And then just use some foil to wrap this up as well. Make sure it's all nicely secured. Just flip this over. And this is going to go back in the oven for another half an hour. After that time, just give this a flip and just keep that foil tightly closed and then place this in the oven for another 30 minutes. All right, so our total cooking time of two hours is up now and our roast is cooked. It's smelling really, really delicious. And I'll just open this up. Now, as you let it sit and cool for a while as well, it will firm up also. So just keep that in mind. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'm just going to cut a piece off the edge here and give this a taste test. Obviously the edge will be much crispier than in the middle section. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, yum, the potato and the beans through that look delicious. Give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, yum. That is so tasty. Serve this with a gravy or with some tomato sauce mustard, however you want to serve it, totally up to you. Give this recipe a go. Remember you can print this off my website at cookingwithplants.com. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Remember I put out two new recipes each and every week and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Bye for now. Mm -mm -mm. Yum.